Is my hair okay? It's great. Really? Do you think you, I should get extensions? No. You like it short? I do. Because it's different, right? I think it fits you. Really? Yes. In what way? A good way. Elaborate. No, you remind me of like, there's a hot chicken like Monsters Inc, I think. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> No, I haven't seen it. You haven't seen Monsters Inc. You have like 19 kids. You haven't seen Monsters Inc. No, I'm a terrible mother. Yeah, we're in. We're all good. Go. Monsters Inc. There's a girl, and, and I mean, there's, there's a girl. Is she a like, monster? No, she's hot. She Look. has snake hair. I'm hitting on you. She has snake all right, hair. All right, all right. And that's really? kind of like what the hair flow like kind of looks like. It's like snakes, but a bob. Cleopatra. Bob. Yeah, it's a bob constrictor. Whoa. Do you see what it did there? You're punny. <laughs> But I think of, that's the worst type of funny. It's but funny. that's you, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to rhyme a lot of words in videos. No, like, you're way more than punny. But, you, yeah, you do, I feel like you have a way with words. And Are you hitting on me? <laughs> you have a way with words. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. So... Trevor Wallace is here. Hello. Comedian. I'm sure you've heard of him. Maybe you haven't. Actually, you probably haven't because his <laughs> fan base is like mostly men. Is yeah, right? men don't know how to use iPhones, so they don't know how to share my content. <laughs> they stare at the phone and they go, why is this not ESPN Red Zone? And they throw a phone. See, and I don't even know what ESPN Red Zone is. I know what really? ESPN is, but what's the Red Zone bit? It's, you would actually like it. I don't know why I, I said that. So what they do, have you ever seen Live PD? Of course I haven't. What, what do you watch? Coco Melon? Yes, that's Live correct. PD or like Red Zone, they like take the highlights. It's like a game's playing and then they go to the another game where there's a highlight and then there's another game. It's it's like so fast paced. It's like Subway Surfer for ESPN. Oh. Subway Surfer? No. Do that's you, for kids. Do you like that? Do you watch that? No, I don't watch sports. What do you watch? TikTok. TikTok, me too. I watch TikTok till my eyes bleed Same. and then I yell at the ad and I say, it's not like it used to be. Yeah. <laughs> I am turning into my father. I, I get it now. My dad used to be like, it's not like what he used to be. It's not. It's not. Dumbass app. TikTok, I saw myself. It's not. I was scrolling Instagram Reels the other day. I was so desperate for a new yeah. platform. Yeah, you're going to be on Facebook soon. That's the content. You know. Facebook Reels is kind of funny. Facebook Reels, I never really watch it. Well, you should. It's, okay. It's fun content. Really? It's a lot of like. What is it? It's What's like. your algorithm? Influencer, but Facebookified. Okay. So it's like. Get ready with me to go to Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel or like they're doing trends that were three, yes. year, three years ago on yes. TikTok. Like they're doing the, what's the whoa? Yeah. Yeah. What's the whoa? Yeah. yeah that. New merch line. What's the whoa? <laughs> yeah. They're just doing like they're a doing lot of They're doing Renegade. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes. They're doing that. that. But like also like I feel like mom content would crush on there. Oh, yeah, I mean, totally. You do great on there. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll do that. So weird. We met years ago good thing you said years ago <laughs> we met <laughs> hi nice to meet you <laughs> years ago yes we did at add all depth digital that's wild what were you doing there i was a social media intern that's I got, so funny my friend from my same hometown was working there and i was going to film school and i was like just you... trying to get any film jobs well we see so you into film school film school where I don't care. San Jose don't State. Care. Um, I don't... The San Jose State University. Okay. In the Bay Area. <laughs> and so but my to do what? You went to film school to do what specifically? Make high quality vines, Laura. Okay. Okay. No, okay. no, no, no. Um, I, I don't know. I just wanted to do something entertainment. I went there for radio at first. And then I was like, what the f am I going to do here? Uh, welcome back to uh, We're Going Out of Business in Four <laughs> Years XM. Stupid. Wow. But you want to be like a radio I want to enter entertainment something. I don't know Anything. if it was like writing, directing, words. You didn't know? But did you? Did it have to be comedy? Like, were you always funny? I always wanted comedy in some regard. I feel like you were probably a really obnoxious little head when you were little. Like a little No, boy. that's me as an adult. Stop. So you weren't? No, I was I, shy I, and introverted. Get out of here. Like the class clown? Like in class? Not me. Begging for attention? Couldn't be me. Sad. Works in an auto dealership now. Wow. Wait, wow. I just like, I wasn't like the kid that when they'd be like, you know, they'd go around and be like, happy, or they'd be like, mm -hmm. here, here, here. The one kid would be like, well, oh, happy birthday. I am present. That yeah. kid's on fentanyl right now. Yeah, that kid sucks. Yeah. 
So yeah. for me, I would just like, I would think about the funny stuff in the back of my head. I was like funny to my group of friends, but not like you around the school. You weren't like super attention seeking. No. Interesting. Mm -mm. I was, I, I have to say, Didn't I wasn't ask. like, no, I wasn't like, <laughs> I wasn't like everyone look at me, but I was like, I had a funny brain always. So I was always thinking of funny things to do. And so I would do those things in class sometimes, but it was because like, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help but see the world in a funny way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right? Did you, like, were you outspoken in class or were you just kind of I was really, really shy until third grade and then I, like, for some reason, I met this girl named Maggie Kalaki and everything changed. That's not a real name. <laughs> Maggie Kalaki? Yeah. Maggie Kalaki, yeah. No, that's she, out she of just a... She brought me out of my shell. That's out of a Marvel movie. I that's, made her up. She was imaginary, Maggie, but it helped. What she happened helped in third me. grade? Started spiking the apple juice? She, hey. No, she was doing, it was a talent show. She had just done a solo, Karen Carpenter's I'm on Top of the World. I was blown away. I couldn't believe she was up there by herself. And I was like painfully shy. I couldn't talk, talk to anyone. And then I saw her do that. And I was like, wow, like, how did you do that? And she was like, I just did it. She like Did talked. she smoke cigarettes too? <laughs> yes. I just did it. <laughs> she was a smoker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she just, but she was extroverted and she just like taught me how to, I don't know, I just went, came out of my shell. But you were always, you were shy and then yeah. what, what changed? Drugs? Drugs. No, never. Never? It was the drugs. Okay. No, um, I did stand up for the first time when I was 17 and it like just clicked. I just yeah. felt something where it's just like, oh, this is where I'm supposed to be. Things just felt right. Really? Yeah, because I didn't play any sports growing up so I didn't know like what adrenaline was. Like, You're I never not coordinated? Caught a, no, I never like mm -hmm. caught a game winning touchdown or hit a home run and was like, that's endorphins. Like like one guy will catch a football and that'll drive him through like four years. He'll, right. he'll be delusional. He's like, I'm going to the NFL. Sure. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. You're from that Naperville, Illinois. I don't know if you are. That's right, we're from Illinois. Stop it. We're both from you Illinois. You said in Naperville. Yeah. That's wild to me. That's where I was born. That's wild, but you, you're not really, because you left it too. It doesn't count. Well, I got kicked out of the house at two. It's a different. Right. Yeah. Right. Family's tough. Wait, so your family, your parents are from Chicago, are they? No. <laughs> they were there for work. Dad's from Ohio. Mom's from California. How'd they meet? At work. What do they do? Uh, they were working at a bike company, I believe, Diamondback Bikes. Cute. And my dad saw a, the new hire and was like. <laughs> really? Yeah. What you doing on your lunch break? For real? And Dad so swooped they, in. Really? Yeah. And then they, I'm assuming they were young. At that, or maybe. Dad, uh, mom was mid 20s. I think dad okay. was early 30s. Okay, okay. So youngish. Dog. He's a dog. Wow. And they're I still I mean, together? yeah, like a new hire. Like let her learn the ropes of the company first where you hit on her. Jesus yeah. Christ, dad. He taught her the, the ropes. Yeah. yeah. And then he shot the ropes. The ropes. I don't know what I can say showed, on here. It's too early. Her to, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, and then they... They like banged. I think they, I don't even know. They were like banging your parents. They did do that Tell at least twice. Tell me more about that. What's that? Tell me more about that. I mean, they, they had to have done it at least twice because mm -hmm. I have a sister, so. Yeah, but um, just twice. Yeah, I don't know. Do what? you feel like they still do? That's a great question, I don't think so. I don't they know, maybe, I hope they do. Can we ask? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do I text them? Do I just be like, yo, happy, <laughs> yo, I know it's 10 a.m., but y'all still f***ing or what? On a scale of one to y'all still f***ing, where y'all at? 10? Yeah. Parents, you, good terms with your parents? Don't so turn this around. This is... You're a parent. You're in the hot seat. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yes. I'm a parent. Whoa. Is that weird? That means you had... <laughs> yeah. And you yeah. have two kids. Yeah, it's weird. So you did it. Twice in my life, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was it weird losing so your virginity than having a child? No, not really. But you're you don't have children, right? So, I've so never you're a virgin. Done it. Yeah. Okay. No kids. Never done it. Do, but you have a sister. Okay, speed this up. So Trevor only has at this point. Oh my God! You have 18 minutes. <laughs> Is that right? Uh. He's got a bigger podcast no, to be I on don't. at I just, 12. No, here's the thing. No, what is the thing? No, what is the thing? There is no thing. I just, yeah. I, I have a problem where I just, people ask me to do stuff and I say yes. I'm like, oh, great. Let's, let's dive uh, into content. that. Why do you say yes? 
because back in the day, I felt like I didn't have those opportunities. And now that I do have those opportunities, it's like, I want to do everything. I see. Back in the day, I was a loser. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And now you're getting hit up by like your peers and people you look up to. Yes. And I was like, yes, shoot him yes. a boy. Boom. And we shot a sketch together last week. We did. And I think it's very funny. How's that going? Did you get the edit back? Not yet. Okay. It's in the queue as we really say. Wow. So you just say yes to things. Yeah. And then what I do is I, um, can you change the smoke detectors in here? <laughs> uh, so what I do is I say yes to things. And then the day of I go, oh, f I overbooked yeah. myself. Yeah. And what about I, your assistant? Does your assistant ever schedule out your day? He does. But where I mess up is I book stuff without him without him yeah, yeah. somebody will text me and i'll be like yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and then he'll be like hey you have a thing at 11 i'll be like oh we'll have two things at 11 now so wait you were you said you were a loser i wasn't a loser i just don't think i was um yeah i was a loser okay why like why why do i you don't say know that? i was just like i don't know like high school i was very confused i had like a honda civic with like two 12 inch subs in the back. That's confusing. It was a hybrid. I had yeah. gauges in my ears. Like, What does that mean? The holes, you know how people put the holes in their ears? You didn't, you were I one did. of those? You can still see a little bit of one. Oh. I had like- oh, Wait, Car that's a good character. You should bring back your high school self with the- Oh my God. It, it, I was just funny. a chameleon. Like I would take pieces from other people. I'd be like, oh, I liked how he drives that car. I like how he has the ear piercings. And then- yeah. I just like didn't know. And then I went to college and I had like the ear, the gauges and people were like, no. I was like, all right. <laughs> that's when I found myself in college. College is when I started making videos. Wow. And then Vine. It, so you started on Vine. Yeah. Wow. And then it all just made sense. And now you have purpose. Kind of. What do you mean kind of? Well, to me, yeah. I feel like I have purpose, but some people in the comments will be like, this f***ing idiot again. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, people are going to hate you. You know, people I hate are. You. Do you? No, not well, at all. You're really good I at hating me. I don't hate you at all. But I, yeah, when you reach that many people, like people, there's going to be. It's inevitable. The way it's I inevitable. see it, it's like yeah. videos have two waves. It goes out, the initial wave, it goes out to your fans and your friends, right? Yeah. And then if they really, really like it, they keep pushing it. And that's when it kind of goes like viral. And then yeah. that's when it gets out to the people who are like, hey, f this guy. Yes. And you're like, ah, there it is. When I start getting those comments like, this is, this is comedy these days. I go, oh, we're doing numbers now. We've right. reached those people. Wow. So so that was your response to the hate was like, oh, I've made it. <laughs> Somewhat. And, and then you cried a little. Yeah. It does hurt a little. It hurts when they hit the insecurities. Mm, like what? Like if, if you know in the back of your head, you're like, oh, I'm milking this video or I rushed this video too yes. much. And then somebody's like, this was a little rushed. And you're like, oh, what? No. That's hard. Yeah. Because it hurts because it's true. It, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's but sometimes people just say shit. And I'm like, ah, I disagree. I disagree. Those yeah. are the ones that go, no. Yeah, but when you're not fully satisfied with the content and then people point it out, it, it does yeah. hurt. Yeah. The worst. But it's also like, you're right. Let me do better next time. Yeah. So do you, what do you, what's your, what? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> what was your character you had at All Death Digital? Because that was a big, what was it? Dude, this is so funny. So you guys, this was a YouTube channel by, can we even say his name? Russell Simmons. <gasps> what the fuck? Dude. I don't know. I don't know anything. You don't know? I don't know anything. You can't say that. It's all over. I have a phone call. Hello? It's literally, it was like 13 or 20 women came forward. Like, yeah, not great. No. Are you surprised? No! He used to yell at me a lot. He, he, I worked there for like three and a half years and he never knew my name, mm -hmm. but he would call me a lot of things. They were funny things, but it would be funny because he would yell at my desk yeah. was the first desk when you'd walk in. So he would yell at me and then you go to his Instagram and it was all just like Zen quotes. He'd be like, peace comes from within. I'm like, you literally just called me you so called many me words. A cunt. Did he? You just called me a cunt. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it, but that's what was so funny yeah. is because I did social media. So sometimes I would post stuff for him and I would like see his like grid and he'd be like, no, I Zen don't. is a one letter word. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> what? It's wild. It was wild. <laughs> you just said I have a beak for a nose. As Leave me alone, <laughs> man. He would literally walk in and be like, who hired this white man? I'd be like, sir, you. <laughs> no, literally. He tried to get me to say the N word like 60 times. Yes. And did you? No. Good. 
it was really bad. I, and then also, whatever, it's, it's really hard because you don't know what's true and what's not. But so I guess we shouldn't get into it too much, but kind of wild. Very. What was, you had a character on there, Yes, right? that was your question. Yeah. So, so this was a YouTube channel from literally a decade ago. But they were right? doing, uh, So mine was Pamela, you know my Pamela Popkin yes, character? Yes. The Southern workout girl? Yes. That was her. So like, right. I went to Russell with the idea of, of doing, I can't, I think it was, yeah, it was a cooking show with Pamela where she like, it was like an at-home cooking show and she would like that make a mistake wild. and like yeah. lose her yeah. And uh, that was it. And then they were like, let's pair you with Teddy Ray. I love Teddy. And so, yeah. And so we then did like cooking shows together and we go to like the sloss and swap meet and like just do stuff together. Yeah. Just this like funny, unlikely yeah. duo. That really was because it was like 2015 yeah. ish, I think. So it was Dude, almost yes. a decade ago. Yeah. Yes. And they were yes. spending like high level money on like sketches, meaning like $500. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, some of them were shot like whole, like, here's a Saturday, we're shooting all day for like one sketch. I think they paid me like $50. Yeah, it's crazy. Day, or something like that. You paid you an exposure. Yeah, that's right. That was the whole thing was like, I didn't have an audience. So I was like, but okay, I remember, I'll take it. I remember working there and you wouldn't look me in the eyes, which is standard. And do you still do that? Yeah, she's, she's not looking right now. But then I remember you started taking off and you're doing other things like you were acting and I was like, whoa, this is a trajectory. You get a sketch here, you get on TV and then do, 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 do. All of a sudden we own, what is your, your eighth house? This yeah, is, this is eight. eighth. Yeah. And now you own eight houses. Yeah. But, but actually this is funny because I was on TV before ADD. So your career went down Downhill. after TV. Yeah. And I'm about to lose my house. No. <laughs> Can I have it? <laughs> no, but, um. That I came out here when I was 17, got a commercial agent, started within a few years. I was like doing commercials and bad sitcoms and the odd indie film. And then I was like, my whole life was auditioning and it was 90% rejection. And that 10%, it's yes, dumb. the 10% the it was like, I was able to like barely pay my rent and like things were moving. But then I started seeing like, you know, my friends like, batch like making content like making a living doing it and i just started seeing people like on vine yeah. making content like making money with and having total creative freedom and i was like whoa and here i am like auditioning for all these pilots and i have no control over whether i get just them. like you could at least like text me like hey you didn't get the role but we love you yeah like, not hearing me back yeah. that's why everyone's like why is everybody in la yeah. so dead inside it's like because we all yeah. audition yeah. Put our heart into this thing and then you never hear from them. That's what I'm saying. So you I get was, ghosted I, religiously. So, we, yes. so it's like, oh, you, you ask us why you're like dead inside. Oh, I don't know. Because I drove to Santa Monica to say four lines and never hear from some guy again. Or I was up for, this you know, till 2 industry. a.m. Like m memorizing 12 pages of script for them to like do the first scene. And they're like, thanks for coming in. Yeah. Thanks for coming But in. that's why doing what you and I do is so funny and like liberating. Because yeah. now they like literally come to you to be yes. like, hey, could you promote our show on Hulu Plus Premium Pro? There's too many pluses and minuses. Yes. This is a fucking SAT question. Yes, literally, yes. But but that's I think, and I mean like, and then the career. Well, yeah. So so then I I went to a pilot. It was like my third callback. I knew I was gonna get. It. I was gonna be the next Friends. I was gonna take off. Like I, whatever. I, Friends wasn't even my favorite show, but you know a big show. Like I thought it was gonna be like a big sitcom. Yeah. Okay. And then I got a call on my way home from the agent, and they were like, "Sorry, they gave the role to Brooklyn Decker." Who's like hot? She's hotter than me, but I'm funnier than her. Like, Ooh. so I didn't understand. Well, is that bad to say? No, I, I don't know She's, who it is. Okay, maybe you are funnier than me. I don't even know Brooklyn if you're watching this. But I was just like devastated because I thought I was gonna get it and I didn't. And it was like the breaking point. So I called my friend and I was like, hey, like let's just write a web series together. Yeah. And she was like, okay, cool. And then we went to ADD and like pitched the, a web series. The first thing was like the two models who like failed at everything. It was called Hungry. Do you remember that? It was, ter it was terrible. Right. It was terrible. I don't want to say it, but yeah, so. <laughs> no, I, it might have been before my time. All right. So then that was it. I was like, I, I told my agent to stop sending me out. I was like done with traditional and posted a video a day every single day for a year. And that's like how 
It's a, it was the move though. Yeah. The average TV viewer is 50 plus. Like nobody even watches TV. And they're not even watching it to watch. They're, it's white noise in the background. Yes, literally. Every parent falls asleep to Tucker Carlson and then they wonder why they're mad at the world. <laughs> yeah. Because they're just fueling and they're just like, uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, if you ever go to like the Midwest, I was doing shows out there and I was just watching the news. How the Midwest views California is so funny. How do they view California? Well, they were just like yelling about San Francisco, but they yeah. wouldn't call it SF San Francisco. They'd be like, San Fran is sliding into the ocean from the homeless. I'm like, you're just saying words. <laughs> it's like one Whole Foods closed because there was a lot of problems with the homeless. And they just like turn this into like an, a 30 minute segment of why San Francisco is deteriorating. Really? I was like, yeah, I mean like also it's like uh, in Indiana, you guys have guns and I, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't Indiana? know. Indiana? Well, that's why I was when I was watching this. Gary, but like, Indiana was the murder capital of the world like a decade ago. Gary, Indiana would also be a great rap name. <laughs> Bitch, I'm Gary, Indiana. Whoa. Yeah, so. What about dating? Tell me about your dating experience. Dating life. Uh, is it time to go now? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> I have seven minutes. Uh, dating. Like, see, tell me about dating apps because I've never done them. Dating apps? I've never done them. Yeah. It's honestly, mm, this is a hot take. I think it sets you up for um, failure. I don't know about failure, but um, what's the word I'm looking for? Disappointment. Really? Because you see these photos of people, guys and women, yeah. and you have this perception of what they are, yeah. and then you meet them, and you're like, "Oh, this, this isn't. This is a little less. Who's this? Really? Who's that?" So you're getting a lot of who's this? Do you think that's like a face tune or like a filter? Well, problem? everybody does it. And I have photos where I look incredible and then I show up looking like this, you know? So it's like, yeah. there. but I, I just hate that the first thought is like, oh, he or she looks different than their profile photo. Yeah. And now your first thought of that person is disappointment. Not disappointment, mm -hmm. but you're like, ah. Instead of being like, instead of meeting somebody at a bar. Meet them in the wild. Yeah, you're, you're yeah. seeing them as their purest form yeah you know not yes. their purest form but you're seeing them like in person yeah it's not like you're gonna like rip a face off and be like haha yeah 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 that was my filter right 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 so, so I, i've never been a fan of it because of that yeah it just it, it's well, it's also what's like, your worst date worst date. probably right now um, is this terrible for you? No, I'm having a lot of fun. Um, All right. And that's our podcast. No. Uh, it kind of is. What, what do you mean? Whatever. Keep going. Fa talk faster. Um, um, so worst date. Worst Have date. you ever even had a bad one? Yeah, of course I've had a bad date. Okay. But I'm a man, so I'll turn a bad date into a good date. Really? Yeah. Do you ever... I'm like, whoa, you're a dude trying to make out? <laughs> but well, how does a straight man... Th Wait, do you have a type? That's yeah. Okay. Funny, tall, blonde. <laughs> uh, but seriously. Brunette, dark okay. hair, maybe Italian. I'm just describing my ex right now. You're describing your ex? Yeah. Okay. But like, she's my type. But so that's Does that mean I'm not over her? Or does that mean I have a type? But that's really interesting. But are you being serious when you say you have a physical type and if it and if that's not your type, you you're not attracted? That's not true. It's not? No, I just think that there's things that I like go like, oh. Like what? Just personality is huge. Personality. Yeah. Ass. Personality. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's really sweet. Personality is like Aww. I mean and I don't, I'm, I'm sure this is a cliche thing to say, but so it's like, sweet. looks catch, personality stays. Wow. Put it on a t-shirt. You ever you met know? a girl who you thought was a little busted, but then she had a great personality and you were like, I want to marry you? Yeah. You. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. I, I, personality is everything. Is it everything though? Yeah. I've been, I went on a date with this girl. She was so hot that like, but like. The hotter you are, the less words you say, I feel like. Really? Yeah. Like, I would ask a, like a, f a very intricate question. Yeah. Oh, so you grew up here. Tell me about that or that or that. And she'd be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's your answer for this? Yeah. But yeah. I will say, like, she was so hot. There was no connection. But there was a table of, like, seven dudes to my right. Yeah. Who were like, oh, Trevor, Trevor. Trevor's on a sick day right now. So, like, to them, it was like. Whoa. And so did you go on a second date because no. she was so hot or no, the no, personality no, no, no. was so bad that No. Really? Yeah, that was it. It just like the, yeah. the, like yeah. like literally I, I was like she are doesn't you, have to say anything else. I was like, are you taking melatonin tonight? Like what's happening? <laughs> but yeah, that's true. I was just like 
Right. But thank God, because there's so many of those couples you see in this city where it's like that really hot chick and that really rich guy. Yeah. And the conversation is like, he's like, mm-hmm. And she's like, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. And then there's just, it's ping-ponging just syllables and one words at a time. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> and the waiter walks by, you guys ready to order? Mm-hmm, yeah. And the most words she says all night and she goes, but can you make that gluten-free? That's it. Really? All night. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. That's funny. How does the f***ing time keep going up? Honestly, it just keeps moving until we're die. Do you Wait, believe hold in on. God? I believe in God. Really? What is God to you? How do you define God? Time went down. I have 13 minutes. <laughs> How do I believe? How do I believe in God? Okay. Because we're all here. How did this happen? That's right. Like, yeah. oh, he, what what blows my mind? Mm. I, I believe in reincarnation. Ooh. Right. Are you like a little Buddhist? No, but like there, there can't just be an end. Like, oh, you're done. You're, that's it forever. Think about that. Every war general ever. Everybody in the war, they're just done. I, I I think we're all like. Doo, 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 doo. And then in my next life, I'll be like, I don't know, do a you, forklift driver. Do you think it depends on like how? good you are in this life that determines your next life Ooh, i i would like to think so like there's a karma element yeah. to it so you would probably... karma's my boyfriend <laughs> isn't that a taylor swift song do you like taylor swift i don't not like her all right if her song comes on i'm like oh. i feel the same yeah yeah it's like yeah i i'm scared at what the power of swifties could do really why yeah. are they so cray cray? You thought storming the Capitol was bad January 6th? <laughs> they could storm all of Connecticut. If every Think about that. If every Swift in the world met up in a field in Nebraska. Yeah. I, I, I mean, like, the powers they could have. They could, I mean. Wh what do you think about that? Why do you think Taylor Swift is so influential? I don't even think she, like, she, I don't even Why think Why are people so obsessed? She's just, she's got it. She, she, she has everything. But is also, that, like, I don't even think she, she knows how powerful she is, but she's like, this is weird. Like, this is, guys. Yeah. yeah. Like, you see these videos of her, like, leaving her New York apartment, there's mm -hmm. swarms of people. She's like, dude, yeah. none of y'all have jobs. Doesn't that creep you out, though? Yes. When you look at any concert and just people just completely fanning out over one person, isn't that just a little odd? Well, I, I think at the concert, you're there for the music because you enjoy her music. Yeah, yeah. It's the stuff outside of that where you're waiting in front of her, uh -huh. you know, New York apartment where you're like, this is, Yeah. there's a disconnect here. Hey, I played my songs last night. Why are you here? Mm. Then it's just a little. It's too much. Yeah. See, you're like the right level of fame because like not too many people know who you are. Like you walk out of your house and it's empty. There's, there's nobody there. This is correct. That's... <laughs> No, I mean, That's I, nice, I, though, I agree. Isn't that nice? I agree. You get a little privacy. I agree. You walk down the street, nobody cares. It's honestly the perfect level. Right. Yeah. Right? And I like it. You know, every once in a while I get recognized by a Postmates driver, and I'm like, <laughs> hey, now you know where I live. This is weird. Um, but yeah, I would say it's a perfect level because I think about guys on that level of fame where it's like, you need a bodyguard to go to a Wendy's. Totally. It's terrible. That sounds like a terrible life. Yeah. You get to do what you love. You still get some peace. Like, if you're Drake right now, you're like, oh, let me just go to 7-Eleven real quick. Can't ever. call the SWAT them. team. <laughs> yeah, I like where I'm at. You like where you're it's at? It's a good level. Are you happy? In life? <laughs> I think it varies. I think in the, in the daytime, I'm very happy. Do you ever get sad? Yeah. The <laughs> Dude, people say that when they come into my house, they go, because in the valley where we, it's like very quiet out yes, here. Yes, yeah. And everyone I know is like in busy like Hollywood areas and where it's like a lot of buzz and a lot of cars. And then people come to my house, they're like, yeah, do you get lonely? That's what the first thing my mom said she, when she saw my house. She goes, do you get lonely out here? I'm like, yeah, mom, of course. That's but why I, I have a cat. Mm, but you have a lot of friends. Yeah, some, four. Four? Four. All my friends got like married and moved out. Like I lived, we all lived in LA after college. And then like all my hometown friends because I grew up an hour from here, all lived in LA. And then eventually it's just like one by one, they like just started to get married. You got five out. seconds. Are you serious? Can we at least end it? Can we? <laughs> I got a pee. Do you have five minutes? Yeah, I got a pee too. Okay. 
So all your friends moved. Oh yeah, we have five minutes. Five minutes. A one and a two and a one, two, three, four. Ba 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 da bam ba dam ba dam bam. And you didn't get the roll. Have fun driving an hour back to your house. <sighs> Seriously. This town, the horrible. audacity. It really, it's terrible. It's a bunch of seventy-three-year-old men being like, I don't know if this is funny. You literally think Jay Leno is the savior of our times right, right. now. Jay Leno's a legend, but it's also twenty twenty-four. The new right. legend, Bryce Hall. That's right. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know. That's right. I don't know. But I think making your own content is the best. It is. It's the and then you make content and then the higher people are like, this is trash. And then over the time, they're like, wait, we like this kid. This is good. Let's talk to him. Let's bring a meeting. So like, are you content making content like and doing stand up? That's your thing. Do you have other goals that you want? Come on, quick. No, I I love what I do. I, I, I like am so happy where I'm at right now. Sure. I would like to do that on a higher level yeah get two or more bigger venues mm, whoa. but right if nothing in my career changed from right now i would be stoked do you want to get married yeah tonight 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 yeah T- today tonight. tonight that was a hybrid it was like a lunch dinner <laughs> winner do i want to get married yeah i want to i want to get married and i want to have kids how many two really mm-hmm. but if it's twins one gotta go. One's gotta go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. I just, you know, it's a lot of pressure with twins. Do they both dress the same? Do they not? It's too much stress. You gotta give one up for adoption. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then they meet later on in life. Right. Yes. And we call it fraternal we- sunshine. Oh my God. We're making I don't like think a- you guys understood what I just said. Eternal sunshine's a movie. Fraternal, fraternal Whoa. twins, fraternal sunshine. Wow. That's f- that's in my time. But like, think about, then they I meet later that. in life and then they're like, wait a second, you smell like me. And like, you look like me. So don't tell them, like, it'll be like the longest prank yeah. show in history. Yes. And just don't tell yes. them. Yes. Okay. I and like that. you cast somebody now and be like, hey, you booked a role for 20 years from now. Are you wow. going to be around and available? That's so funny. April 14th of 2048. Don't tell them until they're 20. Fraternal sunshine. Fraternal I don't sunshine. think you guys understand that. Wow. That was off the dome. Dude, you're really clever. You're really smart. Keep coming. You're really funny. Thank you. You're original. Yes. There's nobody like you. There's never going to be anyone like you. That's what I say daily. That's Those are your daily I tell these all to my cat every day. I'm like, <laughs> you don't understand. Mm-hmm. You don't get it. But that's kind of cool that there will never be anyone like you. Isn't that kind of a cool fact? That's why I, I don't really believe in competition. Because there's, ne- there's never going to be oh. someone as dumb... It's <laughs> you. I'm just kidding. There's never going to be someone like <laughs> you. That's ever. very true. There's no competition. There's no one else. There's no other Trevor There's Wallace. no competition because I'm in my own lane. Whoa. You're in your own lane. And nobody's going to do it the way you do it. Even if you've done an idea that someone's already done, nobody's going to do it like you. Unless you're straight up stealing, which people have done. Have right. they done that with you? No. Pe- people take my stuff. Oh, yeah. they take my all yeah. the time. People take my stuff. Yeah. And I get tagged in the comments yes. and be like, Yo, Trevor Wallace knockoff? Yo, Trevor Wallace question mark, question mark? Bro yeah. thought he was Trevor Wallace. And it's like, I, I, I guess I'm just um, inspiring to some. And I, I think Do everybody's ever... creativity comes derived from a little bit of somebody or something. So, But sometimes it's just very much like my videos. And I'm like, all right. But I don't think the remix will ever be bigger than the original. So it's like, yeah, you can make these videos, but it all points towards me at the end of the day. Totally. Do you ever get petty and like comment like, that was mine. You Early just- on, I would. <laughs> But now I'm like, I don't care because <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. there's just no point in like, yeah, yeah. early on I'd be like, ha ha, this is funny, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> it's just like, who cares? Shut yeah. up, you yeah. know, to me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But I get it. <laughs> it's 11, 11. 11, 11, make a wish. Any, what's I'm your right wish? Here. <laughs> I wish I had more time. That's my wish. Yeah, you like ruined my day. No, I did not. You did. Did I really? Yeah. Actually? No. You said you have some British person coming in here at like one <laughs> thirty. Yeah, too. She's a neuroscientist. I don't give a <laughs> who she is. She's British. <laughs> Tell her to get <laughs> some better teeth if she's a neuroscientist. I don't even know who it is. I'm being mean for no reason. I'm just here for the free uh, energy drink. <laughs> who, who's your guest coming in later? Oh, her name's Tara Swart. She's a ne- neuroscientist. And she talks about like ways to improve your brain and okay, well, neuroplasticity. Can she, uh, it's going to be hilarious. Can she improve my 
and TikTok algorithm, <laughs> then I don't care. Just kidding. She sounds awesome. What's up with your algorithm? No, nah, I just, just want more views. I see. Do you find you're addicted? Yeah, I post and I'm like, I'm not gonna check my phone. And then an hour goes by, I'm like, oh, oh, can you check You're your phone like for me so I'm not looking at it? Yeah, it's yeah. stupid. Yeah. No company does that. No CEO of a company will be like, how are the sales? And then an hour later, be like, how are the sales? And yeah. an hour later, how are the sales? sales? It's the only job where you post and then you immediately see numbers. No, totally. Like bosses meet up like four times a year to be like, what's the quarterly numbers looking like? And they don't even know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. So maybe we should stop that. Yes. I know people that have people posting for them. They don't even go on their social media. Yeah, but then that's too meta. Because and Yeah, that's too meta. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to put all this hard work of filming and yeah. editing into one intern's hands and they misspell the wrong word. You know, it's like, yeah. I need to post it, but I need to off after you this, also need to know like what's going on sorry i'm leaving a mess on tiktok here. it's yes okay, just... correct because i had a friend who was too disconnected and he just would he would have somebody post and he's like i don't have social media i'm like yeah but then you're doing a trend from like i don't know from 2018 because you have no idea what's I, going I on i had this idea and i think this is a healthy version get two phones this the phone i carry with me no social media but the other phone i keep at home only social media shut up so i post on there but then the rest of the day, it's like, I still have a phone, but I'm like not on it. Wow. So and you're it, just in the action. And I guess. Creating. Yeah, but then when I'm on a flight, I'm like, the f am I supposed to do now? Just look at my old photos. Right. <laughs> wow. That's a really good idea. Does I this like that have idea. have chocolate in it? I'm allergic. I have no idea. I think someone sent that to me like six years ago. <laughs> hmm. Um, wait, what else? Tell me something riveting. Wait, what's going on? Is there, what did you, where, I do think I have to go. Where can, where, I do. Where, where can people find you? Where can people yep, find you? Yep, this expired in 2023. <laughs> wait, um, seriously? Yep, October 27th, 2023. So we're not going to be drinking Alani coffee today. <laughs> Promo. Gonna, people can find me, trevorwallscomedy.com. I am on tour coming up. And I put out sketches every, you know, a couple times a week. Trevor Wallace, I right across everything. We got to keep filming together. That was fun. Very fun. So fun. After you left, I was telling everybody, I was like, she smells, but God damn it, yeah. she's funny. Thank you no, so we much. all were like, she's Thank so you. funny, Aww. super chill, down mm. to earth, Aww. and just funny. Keep going. Oh, that's all I got. What else? That was it. What else? Smells. Because it's natural deodorant. That's the thing. Do you use natural deodorant? Yeah, some form of You it. can't use the aluminum stuff because you'll get cancer. So it's either you have two options, smell or cancer. And I want to get that from vaping, if we're being honest. Do you vape? No, but I want to. You, you why? It looks cool. Right. You know. That's valid. Yeah. I want it. It's, you know, it's like depth. Like okay. some, like if I'm just sitting, look at me sitting here. Nothing. Mm, yeah. Now look at me sitting here doing this. Damn. What's Damn. he thinking about? Whoa. Newton's law? That's been my time. I've been Laura Cleary. Um, thank you for having me. Thank yeah, you for I, we're gonna shoot sketches. I have a sketch coming out with Laura. It's really funny, and we we oddly live close to each other. When are you going on tour again? Uh, so I have a bunch of LA dates coming up, and then May is the road ones. Well, I want to come to one of them. Please. Okay. Please. What time do they start though? Whenever you want. I'll change the okay. whole, I'll change the ticket. Okay. To whenever you need to. Okay. All right. Thanks for taking the time. You were amazing. You're funny, guys. Give them a round of applause. Thank you so much. Yes. Wow. 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 Expired. Expired. You're going to get so violently. No, I was next pumped. Podcast. I was like, all right, I'm about to chug this.